Hi, I'm Moira Kelly for Tobin Brothers Funerals. To say it now week, I'm here to introduce you to a very special person in my life. Not this little one, her name's Moira, but someone else. So come inside and meet the family. Hi, Alvin. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's how are you good? Good, how are you? Oh, really good, thank you. I started working with disabled children or disadvantaged children when I was very young. I first saw a film on Mother Teresa when I was very young and, um, and then I saw the work of her brothers and sisters and from a very early age I always knew that I wanted to go work with her one day. So that was my dream to work with Mother Teresa and, and probably to follow her full steps. So um, I, th I think that's where it all began and then it's sort of from there it, my dream came true and one country led to another country to another country. Earlier in my life, I was so lucky, and you could almost say like I've won the lottery because uh, Moira Kelly, who I call mum now, was fortunate enough to come over to Baghdad to see both my brother Emmanuel and I and see what the Australian doctors could do for us in terms of trying to change our lives. So uh, long story short, we were able to come in 2000 and wow, did my eye open up to this amazing country and the amazing city of Melbourne and it took a couple of years before I could actually have my operation. So in those couple of years, um, I really got to know the amazing Moira Kelly. Um, it's really weird because I, I call her mum. Uh, so I really got to know mum and the wonderful work that she does and all the kids that she supports and helps. And just her compassion, her positive energy, and it just, it just thrives on all of us. And it's also very hard for us to say no to her because just of her charisma and the ability to want to change the world is quite extraordinary. Yeah, I remember driving across the desert from Jordan to Baghdad and I remember getting lost in Baghdad. The person couldn't find the orphanage, so that's been another hour when we knew the sun was going down. And eventually he asked another person, another person, we end up at this front gate. And at the window were these two little boys. At the, I remember he's looking at the window. He looked like he'd been sitting there for weeks waiting so for well, me. we're pretty excited. I know. And all you started seeing with your brother, Emmanuel, was welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, auntie, welcome, welcome, auntie. He's singing this song and all that long journey suddenly disappeared. And I thought, oh, my goodness, <laughs> after such a long journey, hearing about you in Albania yeah, and now wow. making it all to, to, um, to Baghdad. And I just remember the enthusiasm and you just got so much energy jumping up and down and so excited and well, clapping. It was a and... special night and, I mean, like, we didn't get that many visitors. So, and yeah. the nuns are giving us a whole day to prepare for your arrival. And, <laughs> I mean, pretty much a week, but on that day it just seemed real and... Yeah. We just couldn't wait for it to come, so it's a pretty exciting night. Yeah, I just remember these little boys coming I'm in. I'm pretty sure you were supposed to arrive at, around lunchtime. Or I was supposed to come a weeks before, I mean, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but it was amazing seeing that moment, seeing you two boys for the first time, but never knowing for that moment it was going to change everything. She's quite extraordinary. I love her to bits, and I, don't, I can't tell you another person who'd be doing what she does. There are a lot of amazing people out there, but for them to be able to do what my mum does, putting kids first, at every time of her life, it was quite extraordinary. Um, how far you and Emmanuel have come, and look at Emmanuel in LA now, and he's fulfilling his dream of singing and acting, and coming home to his mum very soon, and, and look at you now, two Paralympic events, and I've had the honour of being in the stand with Emmanuel, watching you in London and Rio, that was phenomenal, and now you're up at the AIS in Canberra, as a scholarship on a high performance swimmer, so I'm really proud of you. I miss you terribly, but. I look at the whole picture and what the journey you've had and you've come here and, you know. Well, it's been an exciting journey, especially getting into sports and being able to represent Australia. I mean, you know how much that meant to me and yeah. working very hard for it. Just a, a good way to say thank you to Australia for everything you've done. So yeah. to be able to do it twice is quite amazing. And, um, yeah, wouldn't have been able to do it without the awesome yeah. support I've had from everyone, especially you. I think of him and I just get smiles in, in my heart and just jumps a beat and he's everything to me. So I think I've certainly got the most beautiful family in the world and the beautiful boys and Ahmed has just been the biggest gift to me personally. So for all the things I've done in my life, I just think, oh, well, I've, I've now won the lottery. So you mean the world to me. I love your dimples. <laughs> I love your nature, but I love your most generous and kind heart and um, you mean the world to me. I said, I, I don't know what my life would be without you. Oh, thanks, Mum. And I mean it, every bit of it, so... Thank you so much. Well, I love you too. I'm blessed to have you in my life, Ahmed. Well, thank you so much for finding both Emmanuel and I back in Baghdad. So it seems a long time ago now, but look at the journey that we've been able to accomplish together. Mm. I think we all found each other. Ahmed. That's true, yes. <laughs> Good on you. Love you, hon. Love you too. Mm. Mm.